Red Cross and Sisi Foundation worked together, delivering aid supplies to Haiti. Former Sisi scholarship recipients gathered volunteers, cooking and bringing hot food to people in need. Welcome to Dai Headlines, I'm Hu Chao. Glad to have you here. On August 14th, a massive earthquake struck Haiti, causing major casualties and injuries. In the aftermath of this disaster, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Red Cross, and Siji Foundation have worked together to bring aid supplies to Haiti. Let's take a look. In the aftermath of natural disasters in Haiti, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Red Cross, and Siji Foundation have prepared 18 tons of aid supplies to be delivered to Haiti. We really appreciate the two organizations that have joined this relief mission, Siji Foundation and Red Cross. Thank you very much. The aid supplies keep arriving. Red Cross has donated 10 sleeping bags, dried food, and pandemic prevention supplies, including soaps, masks, and gloves. They hope to help the displaced residents in Haiti. After the massive earthquake struck Haiti in 2010, we have built New Hope Village in Haiti. This time, these buildings are still intact, so the affected residents can take shelter there. City volunteers work non-stop to pack aid supplies at San Chongjing Si Hall. They prepared 250 boxes of instant rice and 100 Jing Si folding beds. Meanwhile, U.S. city volunteers have also gathered masks and family medicine packs to help alleviate the medical supply shortage problem in Haiti. We have assessed damages in Les Cays and Termid. At the end of this month, we will also go to Port Au Prince to set up a command center. We will buy food and disaster relief supplies locally. Then we will also plan to distribute these supplies to the affected residents. In the aftermath of the massive earthquake, Haiti has been devastated. The people in Haiti are hoping that they can receive more help to rebuild their homes and lives. Due to the heavy rains in August, mountain roads in many parts of Kaohsiung have been interrupted. City volunteers are concerned that children in remote regions will be impacted. Therefore, they have brought rice and care packages to families living in remote regions. Mudslide, flood and interrupted roads have made people's lives difficult in August. Due to the disasters, many peddlers are unwilling to come up here. The road conditions are very unstable. The road is open, but when one travels down the mountains, he could get hit by stones. It is dangerous to travel to purchase daily supplies. This help is great and timely. Thank you, Ji. In one day, volunteers have gone to three remote regions. Stepping on the muddy roads, volunteers have brought nutritious supplements before the children's school opens. There is a total 20 boxes of supplies. We carry out some children's nutrition program and give supply boxes for other children. Some families really need the help. We will give the supplies the children need so they can improve their nutrient intake. At the campus in Liu Gui District, the budget for school lunch is limited. The food prices are rising and there's limited amount of rice left. Worry about children's health, volunteers have delivered 100 bags of rice. We only have enough rice to last for a month. Due to the typhoon, the vegetable price will be up to 60 to 70 NT dollars. So we really need rice. We usually get donations from different sectors. Ziji has given our students big support in terms of caring for their nutrition and pandemic prevention measures. As volunteers deliver boxes of supplies in the Kaohsiung's remote regions, they have also brought love and care. In Taiwan, to deliver furniture and laptop to care recipient who lives in remote regions, city volunteers had to overcome many difficulties. Two weeks ago, the area near Wujie Tunnel collapsed and the roads were interrupted. Therefore, volunteers made a trip to survey the site first, evaluating the risk of carrying furniture. Fortunately, Volunteers overcame these challenges to complete their mission. At 8 o'clock in the morning, volunteers have come to the meeting point in Wuxie mountainous areas. The truck carrying furniture has also arrived. A few days ago, we went there and took a picture to show our aid recipient. They said it's fine, so we have reserved it. The truck passes by the road section that has just collapsed and the mountain roads are windy. Therefore, the large truck must be driven carefully. Since it is difficult to drive on the mountainous roads, 
and the truck is carrying many furniture. Everyone is driving more slowly. We need to look at the rear side mirror when there are cars coming, as we only see them when they come out. More than two weeks ago, the area near Wujie Tunnel has collapsed, so the traffic in mountainous areas is even more inconvenient. We've come in the past to survey the site because it rained heavily and the Wujie Tunnel was closed. We need to take the detour and come down from Wuse. Taking off from Puri, volunteers need to drive on a mountainous road for an hour before reaching Qingai Village in Renai Township. Puri area is very large. We have been to several tribes in Renai Township. While taking cautious measures, we will come to the mountains to care for them. Fortunately, the weather was stable in the morning. The volunteers were able to travel long distances and reach the mountainous areas to carry out their missions. In Keelong, Taiwan, Tsuji Care recipient Grandmother Song has been living on her own since her husband passed away in February of this year. Perhaps it's because of loneliness. She started to hear voices in her head. Tsuji volunteers continue to accompany Grandmother Song so she is not alone anymore. <laughs> Their interaction has never been cursory. After her husband passed away, Grandmother Song has gained a few sister friends. Thank you to Sister Jingru and Sister Pingyi. They take good care of me. Have I told you before, they've been helping me since, and I don't have any family here to help me. She called the three of us back and asked us to see across from her. Then she gave us each an envelope. We didn't know what was going on. When we opened it, we found ten thousand anti dollars each in envelope. We weren't sure whether to accept it, but it was her gesture of gratitude to make that donation. She's the only person left in her house now, and she doesn't know how to use her mobile phone very well as well as that her television is broken. She hasn't been able to watch TV in the past three months. No one to talk with. It's not a good feeling. I don't like it at all, but thankfully the TV is working now, so I'm really happy for her. Her husband's no longer here, so she feels a bit lonely and lost. I brought her a sutra player and asked her to pray and ignore the outside noise. The friend on top of the hill has been lonely in her later years, but thanks to Tsuji's companionship, she's now filled with lots of love and light. In Malaysia, Rohaya's husband suffers from a variety of chronic diseases and needs dialysis. She even has to take care of the children and housework. In April this year, Rohaya was listed as a Tsuji care recipient. On visits after the pandemic eased, Tsuji volunteers found that the home had no beds, no tables or chairs. Therefore, furniture was purchased on behalf of the family. Rohaya's husband is sick and using a wheelchair, and several children are young and could not help with housework. This is the difficult life Tsuji Care recipient Rohaya has to face. After the pandemic, the situation has worsened. My husband is unable to walk due to poor kidney and lung function. He has to wear diapers for 24 hours. Once, when I came home from work, I found that my husband had difficulty breathing and was unconscious, even in a coma. Due to the movement control order in the country, Tsuji volunteers did not come to visit for a long time. On this day's visit, the volunteers found that there was no bed, no tables, no chairs at home, so they immediately went out to buy some. The furniture seller also helped by giving a discount. You are helping people, and if the furniture is cheaper to you, it's also as if I'm helping others. After setting up the furniture for the family, the volunteers also helped Rohaya celebrate her birthday, hoping that after pandemic ease, her husband's condition will get better and the family's life will no longer be so hard. When the husband's dialysis assistance is stabilized, we will assist Rohaya's life skills. Because she used to sell food, we will encourage her and ask if there are any skills in this area that can be developed. 
，好，然后再开阔。In Marikina, Philippines, a group of 400 Zizi scholarship recipients have gathered their friends and families to run a local kitchen. They cook hot food and send it door to door. They also provide food to tricycle drivers. Here's more. Ano, don't look at yourself na kabataan lang, na wala kang magagawa. Look at yourself na, na empowered ka, empowered ka to help others. I was a Zigi scholarship recipient since I was a high school senior until I finished college. I have a bachelor's degree in banking and finance. Currently, I work as a quality assurance supervisor at a financial technology company. A supervisor in financial industry, Ronald puts on an apron, shorts, and slippers on his days off, serving at a community kitchen. We do this willingly from our heart. We are helping people in need, so that they will at least have food to eat during the pandemic period. He has invited his families and friends to volunteer. They collect bowls from the neighbors and then deliver food door to door. Even tricycle drivers can get a bowl of hot food. It is not important who you are. What is important is that you care about the community. Although he manipulates numbers at work, while serving here he gains spiritual wealth. In Taiwan, city volunteers have brought brand new laptops to two impoverished students in Sanchong, New Taipei City. They hope that the students will be able to study well using the laptops. The students also hope to turn their families' lives around as they pursue an education. Taking the long stairs up, Zhiji volunteers have come to Sanchong, New Taipei City, to help students in need. <laughs> Eighth grader student Tan's parents are overseas Chinese from the Philippines. Since they can only communicate in English, they have difficulties looking for jobs. Uh, here in Taiwan, it's a very high, high cost of living. That's why uh, we can afford to buy computer and, or laptop. We are very thankful for that because he gave us this uh, laptop. <laughs> Turning on the brand new laptop, the family is surprised with joy. He has never thought that he could own a laptop. He is my idol. I'm very happy to receive the computer. This is my first time getting a computer. In the past, I never owned a computer. <laughs> Meanwhile, another student, student Zhou, who is a junior in high school, has been studying hard, as she wants to go to Korea in the future. I usually study Korean at home. Sometimes I attend online courses to learn Korean. When she was in third grade, her father fell into a vegetative state due to a failed brain surgery. Therefore, her mother has to do cleaning work to support her, her brother, and her grandparents. <laughs> it has been seven years when I felt helpless. Zhiji brothers and sisters come to accompany us. I really appreciate them, really. My mother is the only one making money and supporting the entire family. She goes out early in the day and comes home late at night. She works very hard. In the future, I work to support her. Embracing her loving daughter, the mother finally stops crying and smiles. In the future, Tsuji volunteers will continue to accompany this family. In Taiwan, 88 years old Mrs. Lin lives alone in a house in Huwei, Yunling. The house roof leaks, but she's unable to repair it. Tsuji volunteers reported her case to Tsuji and the Department of Construction, hoping to help her renovate her house. After the renovation, a celebration was held. As the house renovation has been completed, the grandma is smiling. There is nothing I can do. 
Zi Jifan tears have helped me. 88-year-old Mrs. Lin lives by herself. Her house roof has collapsed and leaked, making life difficult for her. The collapsed part looked like it has been submerged in water. The ground is also uneven, so the grandma has fallen before. Volunteers have reported her case, so Tsuji's construction department helps with renovation. We tore down the entire roof structure, then we rebuilt the pillars, the rooftop, and waterproof cloth. Since the roof tiles are still in good condition, we put the tiles back. Besides the roof, volunteers also renovated the door, windows, electric wires, wall, and ground. <laughs> In the past, a large area has collapsed. Now they have done the work and it is very comfortable. Mrs. Lin has got into a car accident, so she suffers from mobility issues. I appreciate all the Zigi brothers and sisters. They've discovered this problem and helped her renovate her house as soon as they could. After the renovation work has been completed, the house no longer leaks and the grandma can live more comfortably. During the 7th lunar month, city volunteers walked into different communities to promote vegetarianism. After the COVID alert level downgraded, police officers and firefighters in Tainan can eat the vegetarian food provided by city volunteers again. To show their appreciation, police officers and firefighters donated filled coin banks to city. <laughs> Cooking food with curry, so the volunteers are cooking the potatoes and root vegetables with wisdom. The turmeric curry powder is not salty but spicy. It is nutritious. The vegetarian lunch boxes are not only tasty but also healthy. Five dishes, one soup and fruit. After packing it, they put them in boxes. During the auspicious month, city volunteers are promoting vegetarianism. They want everyone to enjoy tasty vegetarian food. My colleagues said that the vegetarian food provided by Zigi brothers and sisters are very tasty. Everyone said that they are able to enjoy vegetarian food again. It is very good. Wow, it is very tasty and we look forward to it. After eating it, I will want to eat lighter food. In the future, I will order boiled food. It's very tasty. It tasted better than vegetarian food cuisine. If vegetarian food are all like this, I'll eat vegetarian food all the time. Volunteers have changed people's perception of vegetarian food as it can be both tasty and healthy. Due to the pandemic, in the seventh lunar month, we are promoting vegetarianism in different police stations. They have given us bamboo coin banks. Everyone reciprocates Tsuji with coin banks. We really appreciate them. The police officers and firefighters make donations to reciprocate Tsuji's kind gesture. As they enjoy vegetarian food, they've also created a cycle of love. During dialysis, a dip in blood pressure can happen 70% of the time, endangering the patient. In order to solve this issue, the medical team encouraged patients to cycle while in bed, keeping their blood pressure stable during dialysis. In the past, when I am thirsty while driving, I will buy milk from a convenience store and then go back to driving. If I am hungry, I will buy a lunchbox, eat it, and then go back to driving. This is how I ruin my health. If only I knew about how to prevent it, I wouldn't be this serious now. When Lai Yongshun was young, he mainly drove vehicles to earn income. Yet his job requires him to be alert 24 hours a day, causing him to eat unstably. At 30 years old, he already has high blood sugar. The doctor told him many times, but he never listened. He ate whatever was delicious. Actually, when he felt uncomfortable, it was too late. In 2010, 62-year-old Lan Yongshun's kidney function decayed quickly due to diabetes, causing him to have a blind eye and an eye with decreasing vision. Besides receiving hemodialysis, he also has to deal with cardiovascular disease. If he only ate medicine but never changed living habits or never changed eating habits, this actually diminishes the drug's effect, even makes the medicine ineffective. Lai Yongshun's heart has seven heart stents. During dialysis, if his blood pressure drops, his life is at risk.
懂你要拣课吗？你懂？你要拣课吗？你懂？若美，帮我看一下，他好像血压掉了。阿本，帮我一下好不好？阿本，阿本懂，血先赶回去哦。好，赖董，啊，你讲啊。你唔知哦、喔，啊你你练功你也安尼，你爱先找我叫啦。这是我们很不想遇到的。你只要一透析。This is what we don't want to see. If you start to inspect and his blood pressure lowers, this actually causes a lot of trouble during hemodialysis. During this process, we are bringing blood out, which will potentially cause faint or shock. So actually, during hemodialysis, we can observe common issues such as cardiovascular and heart issues. 嗯，我们会觉得很不好的地方，最常见的还是心血管的问题，特别是心脏。During the dialysis process, the lowering of blood pressure will force the process to a complete stop. This not only causes a lack of dosage; if the blood pressure is too low, it might cause the tube to jam. This will also cause a lack of blood and mesentery, increasing cardiovascular issues, leading up to the risk of death. I don't. 运动时间到了，来骑车了，来骑车呗。In order to solve this issue, Dr. Cai Renbi added a therapy session for Lai Yongsun, which is to ride a bicycle on the medical bed. This helps stabilize his blood pressure. 你骑一阵啊，你你感觉有进步无？当然是有进步。嗯，吊火吊动。嗯嗯嗯嗯。啊，咱咱电人动人，电动会含量的有限啊。嗯。啊，做这机会当。赖永顺他在斗六之所以可以做得到这件事情，赖永顺 is able to do this in 斗六 G G Hospital because the team there encourages him. Actually, patients need a lot of mental support from others. We need to give them positive feedback. I feel that after he came over, the reason that kept him going. Is he really felt better after doing cycling exercises on the medical bed? The reason is, he also, of course, is that he himself has felt that after he was on that bed and riding the bike, he was actually better. Don't be too hard. No, my dear. I just want to see him again. Just want to see him again. For seven years, Dr. Cai Renbi cared for my husband well. During the dialysis sessions here, nurses and doctors have cared for him well. It's something like letting patients not regret visiting you. You have to guide them and comfort them. In Kaohsiung CCJH, in order to support student baseball players affected by the epidemic, besides holding video training sessions, the coach also drives a small truck, visiting students living in remote regions while giving them helpful supplies. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.